What's up, knife freaks? All right, guys, we've had a few of you had questions about disassembling the knives, particularly taking the thumb studs off since we got our new titanium hardware kits. So we're going to do a little video and show you how to do all that good stuff. Come on in here. All right, so first thing we're going to do is just break the knife down. Uh, we don't have a clip on this one. Uh, I figure you know how to take two screws out for that. So the way I always start, loosen up the two body screws, get them all the way completely loose, but I leave them in. Flip it. Take out the pivot screw. These pivots, our standard um, stainless pivots, have a screw on one side, and the other side is a barrel with the head of it made onto it. We've had a few people get confused and try to think this is a screw and end up messing it up trying to get it off of there. That's not a screw. That's integral to the to the pivot. Is that's all one piece. So. That's what a normal pivot that comes on the knife looks like. So anyway, take that out, pop the lock side off, pull the blade off, standoffs out. Um, let's see, since we're taking the pivot out, we need to go ahead and take the screws. You really don't have to take the thumb stud out, but I mean the uh, stop pin, sorry. But it fell out, so it's all good. Some of you may have a, a knife, we used to press fit the pivots in there a little tighter than we do now. Most of the ones now you can just push out with your thumb like that and pop it out. If you have any trouble, find you some sort of a, a little block or something that has a hole in it. Um, carefully, make sure you put something down so you don't mess it up. Take something like a little, either a rubber hammer or something like that, or you can put a little piece of something like a wood or something over it in a regular hammer and just give it a couple of light taps till it gets started. And then you should be able to kind of push it on out. All right, that's that's on some of the older ones that do still have a, a little tighter press fit on the pivot. All right, so only other thing we got to take care of here is the thumb stud. This blade's not sharp, but we're gonna pretend it is. So as yours will be. So you're gonna to wanna to protect yourself, put a little tape on that edge, maybe put a couple of layers and still be careful because you can still cut yourself. All right. Then for the thumb studs to get them off, what we've got is just a couple of cheap like dollar store pair of pliers and tape them up good with some painter's tape. Make sure you let the tape come on down the sides. Don't just lay a piece over the, over the actual gripping part of the jaw. You want this on the sides to protect the flats on your knife because what you're gonna do so again, the thumb studs are made similar to our pivots. The female side is just the little thumb stud itself. The male side, the post is actually integral and made onto that, that does not unscrew, okay? And we always put the male side through the show side of the knife, just like that. So I like to try to unscrew the opposite side, the female side. So I just reach in there carefully, grab a hold of that, grab it from the opposite side, give it a little twist, you just want to twist it enough that you feel it break loose. Once it breaks loose, you should be able to finish unscrewing it with your fingers. All right, that's off of there. Now, we're ready to go back in with the new titanium hardware. So for the titanium hardware, the pivots are a little different. You don't want to have a titanium barrel for your blade to be rotating on. So we have a stainless barrel, and then we've got titanium pivot screw. I like to go ahead and put it on there like that. And if I was putting this together for a final thing, I would take some blue Loctite. I don't recommend using the red. Use blue Loctite, put a, put a small little drop on there. As a matter of fact, I put a small drop and then I kind of blot it just a tiny bit on the paper towel to, so it's kind of just left in the threads. So then you screw this one in, not all the way, but almost. So leave a tiny little gap, if you can see that, just like that. All right, so that goes through the show side. We always put on the standard pivots that, that are integral, like I said, that also always goes through the show side. So the screw is always on the, the lock side when we send them out. All right, so take your two frame screws, pop them in, lay it down, two standoffs, or if you happen, if you buy one of our backspacers, then you just set your backspacer on there. Just as easy. Stop pin, bearings. It 
actually makes zero difference, I think, but we're particular. We always put the bearings, the closed side of the cage towards the blade. Um, just makes me feel better. So got that. Then we're ready to put the blade back on. Actually, we'll put the, you can put the thumb studs on after you put the blade in there, but it's probably easier to just reverse what we did. So male side through there. Put a little bit of Loctite on there. Again, only blue Loctite. If you put red Loctite on here and you ever decide to change to a different color or something, you're going to be having a whole lot more trouble than, uh, than you should to get these off of here. So put a good little dose of Loctite on there. I don't use the pliers to tighten them up. Unless you just have particularly weak fingers, I wouldn't use the pliers. Just take and finger tighten them down really, really good as hard as you can. And then you're actually going to want to let the blade set it aside, let it sit for maybe about an hour or so, give that Loctite time to dry. Because if you just immediately put them together, put it, put the whole knife together, start flicking it open, you're probably going to vibrate those thumb studs loose a little bit, and then they're going to end up spinning on you. So if you give the Loctite time to dry, you shouldn't have any trouble and they shouldn't spin. So then once that's on there, blade on there, I like to put it in the closed position, put the other bearing on there, and then what you're trying to do here is you're trying to line up the stop pin hole on the stop pin and then the pivot hole on the pivot kind of at the same time. You should feel them kind of lightly snap into place. Put the pivot screw in there. So you're holding pressure down so that the lock bar doesn't spring up the handle and make it pop up on you. And then I tighten this probably about 90% of the way down. Hold your fingers on the screws as you flip it over so they don't fall out. I know that I could put the screws in from the other side um, and in some ways it would make it easier, but for some reason I just always liked the look of having the, the heads of the screws on the show side because like now with these colored screws, now you've got that popping over here versus the tiny little bit of color that would be showing if it was the other way around. So slight sacrifice and ease of assembly and disassembly for what I consider to be a better look. All right. So that's basically it. Now, of course, just take your tape back off and you should be good to go. Um, if you have, whoops, I lied. I never tightened the pivot back down. I got excited in the video. Sorry, guys. So tighten the pivot all the way now. And what I like to do is to tighten it to where it stops. Now, I'm not just super forcing it. I tighten it where it stops pretty good. And then back it off just a little bit and probably a tenth of a turn maybe um now this is not a finished knife that's been completely tuned and everything so but uh but that's already pretty smooth so and then basically you want to back the screw out until it is falling shut the way you want it to but when it's open it should have no play side to side if you if you do that if you feel play side to side then you should close the knife back tighten it up a little bit and then I always like to break these screws back apart just just enough to break them loose. Retighten them. That lets your blade center back up. And then test it again. If you don't have any blade play and the action feels the way you want it to, then you're good to go. You're done. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, hit us up. We'd much rather you hit us up and let us guide you through it or even send the knife in if need be and let us do it. We'd much rather do that than for you to mess something up on your knife or whatever. So, uh, so please hit us up if you have any questions, but hopefully this video will help. We appreciate you guys. Appreciate the response on this hardware kits and we're going to keep coming out with some more cool stuff for you guys. Thanks.